we have with us Dr. Madhavan Nair, Chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, an organization which has had a dream run till date on the Chandrayaan mission. Of late, there have been some hiccups on the mission. Another earlier satellite had some hiccups. We are with Dr. Madhavan Nair. But uh, to the credit of the ISRO scientific team, they have worked out a very innovative way of overcoming this. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, the, there are cameras on board the Chandrayaan which are looking at the moon. And there are known spots on the moon which, can, which are well defined. Similarly, the Chandrayaan is looking at the ground station at Bailalu. So that's also a fixed location. Using this vector, they have evolved a mathematical formulation by which we were able to recapture the orientation and using the onboard gyros, which are supposed to be the redundant pieces, we were able to run the mission as satisfactorily as earlier. So I, I can say that uh, these two events, which will simply would have led to a mission catastrophe, were managed by the ISRO's team very efficiently. So in layman's term, would it be, would, would it be okay to say that the star sensor was, the satellite is orbiting the moon, but you weren't able to locate specific things on the moon uh, through if, the loss of the star if, sensor? If we did not have a redundant uh, system, we would have lost. Even the gyroscope which is there, it has limitation. You know, what happens is it has got what's called a drift. With, with time, the reference will be slowly drifting, and we will lose that. So there only the innovation of our scientists came in, and within a very short span of time, they have uh, formulated, validated the software, and conducted sufficient experiment. Today, it is able to precisely point to the lunar location as with the star sensor. So we are, we are not compromising anything on board the uh, was a spacecraft now. So you had a failure, but you've been able to recover from that. Absolutely. This actually, as I mentioned earlier, the space missions, we have to be anticipating some sort of a problem or other. And normally we provide a certain amount of redundancies. When it goes beyond that, then the mission will get lost. There are instances in which many missions were lost in the early phase itself. But uh, I will say that we were lucky that uh, we have completed almost all the mission objectives. So would this be called Jugar technology, meaning something failed and you, because you have learned the art of maintaining these things, you were able to put some innovative things together, would it be Jugar, would you want to say? I, I will say that uh, it is the, the imagination, the promptness of action and also the type of uh, the solutions, what you find, they are very unique. You know, we don't have a luxurious situation where if something fails, we can go with another mission immediately. So we try to see that these missions are very carefully attended to, and we don't leave anything to chance. Every spacecraft which is there, it is being monitored through our telemetry and telecommand system by human presence. Every spacecraft, there's a 24-hour watch kept by our people. Mm -hmm. So that, and that also, our senior people intervene at the right time. So they will find the right solution, and the whole thing is managed like that. So right now, is the is the spacecraft working normally? Uh, well, I can only quote the scientists. They have given n number of action items more to image and take, collect the data, etc. During this season, uh, every request from the scientists have been serviced. So has there been any key finding from the mission till now? Uh, well, one thing I can say, the features which is revealed by the terrain mapping camera. Tubar.com.